have to say that when we first met Glenn, it was Marcia and I who met him when he came for the interview. And just the day before, I had interviewed someone and we were going to give him, offer him the job. Glenn was very smart though. He wore armor, he came in on a white horse, and so as soon as we met him, we realized this was something special. And that was before he, we knew that he was one day going to be Mr. Mockingbird. That's how good he was. I have to say seriously, there was this feeling, I think, between Marcia and me that somehow Adele had set him. And what he did in his time with young playwrights was more than we ever could imagine that anybody would do. He brought in um, the playwrights themselves into the whole uh, consciousness of young playwrights and had them involved at every level, from the board through everything else, so that today kids are in it from the beginning and they stay in it and they stay involved, uh, which is really beautiful to see. So uh, Billy and Playwrights first came to my school when I was in third grade, and we wrote a class play all together, and it was about animate school supplies. Um, I was personally responsible for Pinky Pencil, who was a, like an, a pencil that was pink, and that's really all that went into that. Um, I continued to write a play every year for PYP after that, and in addition to getting to do some readings at local colleges, I also participated in like every kind of workshop and camp they offered to me. And so along the way, I became very acquainted with Glenn because he was always very involved in these kinds of things, and he was super generous with his time. So we actually became very personally acquainted because I was around a lot, and of course he was too. I think. One of Glenn's great strengths is his appreciation of what anyone else can do. And he, despite his being Mr. Mockingbird, he doesn't really want the limelight for himself. He has never really basked in the limelight he could have had. He's more interested in having other people show their talents, use their talents, and be appreciated for their talents. That's really, I think, uh, the secret of a really great administrator. There was one dinner we had um, in which I think it was a sort of dinner to celebrate donors and talk more about the great things that PYP does. And at that dinner, my monologue was performed, Thoughts Can Fly. And I was really nervous because I had to talk and I had to kind of give it an intro. And I think I was maybe a sophomore in high school at the time, so I was nervous public speaking, especially in front of people who had some power and were exciting and I didn't know. And so he gave me a lot of confidence and just told me that, you know, I had already done the hard part, which was writing it, and that talking about it can be really easy. Like, And for me, it gave me a lot of confidence in my own work that I didn't necessarily have at the time because I still felt kind of childish and like a kid who was getting to do fun things, but he helped me see that it was, I could be seen as someone who was writing and it didn't have to mean that I was not to be taken seriously. He was always so friendly and welcoming and interested, genuinely, personally interested, that I really felt like he was actually listening to what I said and wanted to hear me and wanted wanted me to contribute. And I never felt like I couldn't. And slowly I built up a lot of confidence and, and the ability to voice myself in a room, even if I was the youngest and even if I was the least experienced, because I really felt like he was there to support that and, and was interested in it and, and meant it. I'm still involved in theater. I still write plays. I just won a playwriting contest at Dartmouth and I'm doing a play this summer. They're gonna produce a reading of it, which is really exciting to get to do again. So I still find uses for the things I've learned in Young Playwrights all the time. I became very comfortable with talking to people and so now I work for the newspaper and I interview people all the time, people who are professionals in the business and in other all kinds of businesses. I write for the art section so it happens to be very relevant. Even in my government classes I find myself every once in a while wondering how things are managed and speech writing has become very interesting to me. The way things are organized like that, the way people choose to message things is very interesting and cool and I find a lot of overlap in, in strange ways. The PYP was like 
a defining aspect of me growing up. I don't think I would be this person I am right now without it. And Glenn was such a huge part of that and making me feel like I was welcome and invited and comfortable and happy. And I really appreciated his presence there. So there's no one who deserves this award more than him. So I'm grateful that he's been here and I take full credit for his being here. Congratulations, young playwrights, for having had Glenn.